Hello everyone. Good day. Welcome to vSparks. Today we are going to see what is replica set, its concepts, and we are going to see a demo on how to create a replica set in the Kubernetes cluster. If you like this video, please subscribe to vSparks channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the agenda of this video. We are going to discuss on these topics in this video. What is a replica set? Let us understand it from the scratch. Before starting, I assume that you already know what are pods and containers. If you don't know the same, please visit our previous videos. Assume that you are running your application as a container in a pod. What happens when your pod got crashed? Obviously, your application will go down. Who will bring up these pods back to normal? How do you scale up these pods when the load increases? There comes a Kubernetes object called replica set. A replica set is a Kubernetes object that runs multiple instances of a pod and keeps the specified number of pods constant. With respect to replica set, the pods are referred to as replicas. Replica set's purpose is to maintain the specified number of pods running in the cluster at any given time to prevent the users from losing access to their application. When a pod fails. Assume that we have created a replica set with a replica of 2. Now the replica set will run two instances of your application as replicas or pods. As highlighted already, even when your pod goes down, it tries to bring up your pods to ensure the correct number of replicas are always running in the cluster. As per our replica set definition, two replicas should be always running in the cluster. This guarantees high availability and load balancing for your application. Does it mean that you should run more than one replica within a replica set? Actually, no. You can very well run a replica set with a replica of one. Based on your workload or business needs, you can spin up or spin down the replicas. Kubernetes recommends to use deployments instead of directly using replica sets. Why we need to use deployments? We will see that in the deployment architecture. As you all know, replica set contains replicas. These replicas are managed by the replica set. In other words, replicas are the subset of replica set. In the same way, deployments contain replica set. In this case, replica set is the subset of deployment. Deployment is a higher level concept that actually manages replica sets and it provides lots of other useful features like upgrades, rollouts, rollbacks, etc. etc. So these additional features are not supported by replica set and that's why we are going for deployment. So it is always a best practice to use deployments instead of replica set. For this lecture, we are going to concentrate only on the replica set. How to create replica set? Actually, there is no direct kubectl commands to create a replica set. So, we have to create it using deployment manifest only. Once you execute this command, it will create a deployment yaml manifest file and then you have to edit the YAML file so as to create a replica set object instead of deployment. A sample edited file will be like this. 
here the kind should be replica set instead of deployment and finally apply the replica set definition to create the same now let us discuss the replica set yaml definition a bit more A replica set definition has four important top level fields API version, kind, metadata, and spec. For replica set, the API version should be apps slash v1 and the kind should be replica set with R and S in uppercase. The metadata field holds the name and the labels for the replica set. Under spec, you have three important fields, the replicas, selector, and the template. As per this definition, the number of replicas is three here. We will discuss the selector field at last. Next, under template section, we need to mention the pod definition. We can look back our pod definition file, which we have discussed in our previous lectures. This pod definition, once applied in the Kubernetes cluster, will create a single container pod with Nginx image. So, this part of the pod definition should go to the template section of the replica set. You can modify these attributes as per your business requirements. Coming back to the selector field. This selector field is used by the replica set to identify the correct pods in the Kubernetes cluster. There may be n number of pods in the cluster. How does this replica set identify which pod belongs to itself? That's with the help of selector field. For this to happen, we should mention the correct labels of the pod in the selector section and that too under match labels field. If you closely look at the selector label and pod label, eventually it should match, else the replica set will be erratic. Here, in our example, it is tier colon front end. Once you submit this definition, your replica set will be created in the name of my replica set with three replicas in place. How replica set works? As highlighted already, a replica set identifies its parts in the cluster with the selectors and labels. Once the selector field is passed to the replica set with the correct label, the replica set will try to identify the parts with that label in the Kubernetes cluster for its management. It always tries to match the running replicas with the defined replica count in the manifest file. For example, if I change the replica count to 3 in the YAML definition, as per this case, the replica set will spin up the extra replicas to match the static count since the actual running replicas is only 2. By this way, the replica set maintains the specified number of parts running in the cluster at any given time. Now let us see a demo on how to create a replica set. Step number one, access the Kubernetes cluster using kubectl utility and check if the Kubernetes cluster is running properly. Just to save the time, I have consolidated all the commands in a notepad. This is our master node. kubectl cluster info command gives the details of your cluster. Now, check the nodes and the pods. Our cluster is running with one master node and two worker nodes. Just check if all the control plane components are running in the kube system namespace. Yes, 
all the components are running properly. Now it's step number two, create and modify the replica set manifest using the kubectl commands. Since there is no direct command to create a replica set, we actually create a deployment manifest and modify it to best fit our replica set definition file. So this command creates a deployment manifest with one replica. Now edit it to fit for a replica set. Change the kind to replica set. Just remove the unwanted lines and ensure the selector field and the pod label field matches. Here the labels are given as app colon my replica set. The container image is going to be nginx. Now, step number three, apply the replica manifest file, which we have created in the last step. This will create a replica set with one replica. Now the YAML file is applied. Here you can see the replica set is created and its associated parts in the cluster. Step number four, increase the replica count to two in the replica set. It is the best practice to update the changes in the manifest file instead of updating it directly. I'm going to follow the best practice for this demo. Just edit the replica set YAML definition file. Here, set the replicas to two. Apply the same in the Kubernetes cluster. Now you can see the replica count is increased to two. That is, it will spin up an extra pod in the cluster. You can see two pods are running in the replica set. Step number five, now try to delete a replica and observe the behavior. Once you delete a replica or pod eventually, replica set will try to bring up a new replica to maintain the static replica count. Just delete a pod which belongs to the replica set. Now the pod is deleted. By now, a new pod would have been spun up by the replica set. Here you can see a new pod is getting created automatically. Well, that's it for this lecture. This is the summary of this video. Thank you from vSparks and thank you for watching this video.